In this video, I will consider one problem on Thevenin's theorem. Find Vx using Thevenin's theorem. This is the given circuit. Here Vx is shown. That is Vx is the voltage across minus J2 ohm. We are supposed to calculate this Vx using Thevenin's theorem. So in Thevenin's theorem, the voltage or the current in which branch we are calculating, we are supposed to remove that branch from the circuit. So now let me remove this minus J2 ohm from this circuit. So the circuit looks like this. So here there was minus J2 ohm that I have removed. Now this is open. Now we are supposed to find the voltage between these two terminals that is known as VTH or VOC. Let me calculate the VTH. So here we can see that 2 ohm register is connected here. As this terminal is open, the current through this 2 ohm register is zero. So no current flows in 2 ohm register. It means that voltage across phi J phi is nothing but VTH. So here we can observe that current phi angle 90 flows through this loop. So the entire current will flow through phi plus J phi. So voltage across phi plus J phi will be that is is nothing but VTH. So I can write VTH is equal to current into this value that is phi angle 90 into phi plus J phi. This is nothing but voltage across phi plus J phi that is nothing but VTH. So I can write VTH is equal to let me simplify this. So we can simplify this directly using calculator but keep calculator in complex mode. So it gives minus 25 plus J25 or I can write in polar form as 35.35 at an angle 135 degree volts. So this is VTH that is Thevenin's voltage or open circuit voltage. So now to calculate RTH, we have to open this phi angle 90 current source. So in that case, let me draw the equivalent circuit. That is to find RTH. So here, if we open this phi plus J phi will come in series with 2 ohm. That is. This is phi J phi. So here we have the register of 2 ohm. This is 2 ohm and this terminal is open. RTH is resistance between these two terminal. This is RTH. So therefore here we can see that RTH will be equal to these two are in series. All are in series. That is 7 plus J phi. Now let me draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Therefore, Thevenin's equivalent circuit is shown below. That is, we have VTH in series with RTH. RTH which is equal to 7 plus J5. So e VTH value is already calculated that is 35 minus 25 plus J25 minus 25 plus J25. So now to these two terminals between these two terminals we supposed to connect minus J2 ohm. So connect minus J2 ohm here minus J2 ohm. So voltage across this will be Vx. So find, first find current in the circuit. Therefore current in the circuit I will be I is equal to Vth divided by that is minus 25 plus J25 divided by 7 plus J5 minus J2. 7 plus J5 minus J2. Or I can write I is equal to minus 25 plus J25 divided by we have 7 J5 minus J2 is J3. Therefore, I will be equal to. 
so it gives minus 1.724 plus j 4.310 so therefore therefore vx is equal to so vx is voltage across minus j2 vx will be equal to minus j2 into current that is i therefore vx will be equal to minus j2 into we have i that is minus 1.724 plus j 4.310 minus 1.724 plus j 4.310 let me calculate this use 8.62 plus j 3.448 volts or in direct in polar form I can write it as Vx is equal to 9.28 at an angle of 21.8 volts. So this is the voltage Vx and it is calculated using Thevenin's theorem. Thank you for watching.